Hi everyone, Danielle here, your book lady with Usborne Books and more. And today I want to give you a preview of The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. I was really impressed with the writing style of this book from the get-go. And I want you to be able to hear some of it yourself so that you can decide if it's the right pick for you or for your loved ones. So let's jump right in. We're just going to read a couple of pages to give you an idea. We have starts off here with a little clipping from a newspaper talking about a murder. So we're going to skip over that and our little part one here. And we're going to jump right in to chapter one. Sophie hung on tightly to the leather strap as the omnibus rattled forward. Another Monday morning and all about her, London was whirring into life, damp and steamy with last night's rain and this morning's smoke. As she stood, wedged between a couple of clerks wearing bowler hats and carrying newspapers, she gazed out of the window at the grey street, wondering whether that faint fragrance of spring she'd caught on the wind had been just her imagination. She found herself thinking about the garden of Orchard House, the daffodils that must be blooming there now, the damp earth and the smell of rain in the grass. Piccadilly Circus, yelled the conductor as the omnibus clattered to a halt, and Sophie pushed her thoughts away. She straightened her hat, grasped her umbrella in a neatly gloved hand, and slipped, slipped between the clerks and passed an elderly lady wearing a pince nez who said, Dear me, as if quite scandalized at the sight of a young lady alone, recklessly jumping on and off on the buses. Sophie paid no attention and hopped down onto the pavement. There was simply no sense in listening. After all, she wasn't that sort of young lady anymore. As the omnibus drew away, she turned and gazed for a moment at the enormous white building that towered above her. Sinclair's department store was so new that, as yet, it had not even opened its doors to customers, but already it was the most famous store in London, and therefore, some said, the whole world. With its magnificent columns and ranks of colored flags, it wasn't like any other shop Sophie had ever seen. It was more like a classical temple that had sprung up, white and immaculate, against the smog and dirt of Piccadilly. The huge plate glass windows were shrouded with royal blue silk curtains, making it look like the stage in a grand theater before the performance has begun. The owner of Sinclair's department store was Mr. Edward Sinclair, who was as famous as the store itself. He was an American, a self-made man, renowned for his elegance, for the single perfect orchid he always wore in his buttonhole, for the ever-changing string of beautiful ladies on his arm, and, most of all, for his wealth. Although they had only been working for him for a few weeks, and most of them had barely set eyes on him, the staff of Sinclair's had taken to referring to him as the captain, because rumor had it that he had run away to sea in his youth. There were already a great number of rumors about Edward Sinclair, but whether the stories were true or not, it seemed an apt nickname. After all, the store itself was a little like a ship, as glittering and luxurious as an ocean liner ready to carry its customers proudly on a journey to an exotic new land. There you have it. There's your preview of The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. I'll include a link down below so you can check it out yourself and the other books in the series. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Bye!